Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a small people feco. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision at the selected site. And now this is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. And this is another paracentesis on the right side of the main incision. This is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with type and blue dye underneath this air bubble. This is a totally unedited recording and you are going to watch each and every step of the surgery real time. This is type and blue dye and now I am going to inject a bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. Yes, the people has dilated a bit but this is not enough for comfortable surgery and I have decided to use a people expansion device in this case. So in this case I have selected B hex Viscoelastic substance 2% SPMC is being injected into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is underfilled and a little bit of visco is injected under the iris to create a rim so that flanges that go under the iris find some room over there. And now this is the beautiful pupil expansion device V hex. It is held the middle tab is held and now if the device goes totally into the anterior chamber you can tuck the leading flange at on go as it happened in this case. See it here. Take the device totally into the anterior chamber. It has gone into the anterior chamber and now the leading flange is tucked. It is being tucked with the help of these forceps, B hex forceps. This is the flange at on o'clock. It is tucked have you noted that the B hex forceps are through the main incision and now the B hex forceps is going being used through the left paracentesis and the flange at 10 o'clock has been tucked. Yes. Visco again and now is the time to do capsulorexis. This is 26 case bent needle cystitum and this is a uterta forceps. See how comfortably you can do rexis. We have to go very close to the margin of this dilated people or expanded people to get adequate size to rexis. Yes. I have got a rexis of about 5 mm. Now hydro dissection. All these steps are just like a routine case after application of this people expansion device. And now The nucleus is being mobilized. Visco is injected again. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The titanium needle enters into the anterior chamber with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical matter is aspirated. And now I turn the handpiece, make the bevel up, and now see I'm going to do direct job. Bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus firmly, and chop it like this. Rotate, hold it another place, and chop it. 
nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 2 plus and it is not easy to hold this nucleus you have to use very low ultrasonic energy and moderate vacuum in this case vacuum was 350 millimeter of mercury fluoride is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is and ultrasonic energy is 45 percent yes the nucleus and epinucleus has been managed and now by the time my assistant gets ready with the bimanual irrigation aspiration I'm going to use Simco to remove some portion of the cortex and this small nuclear piece and now I'm going to remove a portion of the cortex which is easily approachable by this Simco cannula and now the sub incisional cortex and the cortex at 9 and 8 o'clock are being removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration so you have seen that with this device you can use either simco or bimanual whatever you like yes the simco has been the cortical cleanup has been done now SPMC is injected again for implantation of intraocular lens though hydro implantation can be done it is better to use Simco better to use Visco because we have to remove the BHEX with the help of Visco filling off the anterior chamber and here goes the intraocular lens the main incision has been enlarged a little bit because this is a B cartridge and here it is the lens has gone into the capsular bag now the lens is dialed a bit so that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision so that I can go behind the intraocular lens for cleaning viscoelastic substance and now I'm removing the BHEX. First, untuck all the flanges and just pull it out. There's no need of injector in this in with this BHEX people expansion device. Now, thorough cleaning of visco is done. The visco is being. removed from the capsular bag you can see that the people is round and there is no sphincter people damage if we use iris hooks we tend to pull it vigorously and we cause some damage to the sphincter people but this device will dilate the people moderately and it will not cause any damage to the sphincter people 
that side the people is round and there is no distortion of the pupillary margin and now the paracentesis openings are being closed by corneal stromal hydration an ebbable has been used to maintain the anterior chamber whenever you find that the anterior chamber becoming shallow use an ebbable it will maintain the intraocular pressure and the anterior chamber and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber anterior chamber is formed very nicely all the wounds are checked and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills this will inspire you to use people expansion devices in small people feco it is always better to do surgeries under direct visualization if we don't use people expansion devices in such cases we usually do many maneuvers without direct visualization like cleaning of cortex which is behind the iris you cannot see them thank you very much for your attention